guys, welcome back to our channel. Happy Memorial Day and thank you to all the veterans and the people who served in the military. We really appreciate all of your services. So today, we will be talking about the Australian finger lime. Australian finger lime. Let's see if we can get a shot of this little guy. What's unique about it? Well, I think that it, it actually comes in multiple different shapes, as you can see here, and they have a lot of big thorns on the tree. I don't think it comes in multiple shapes. It comes into one shape. It looks like a mini cucumber there. Look. A tiny little guys. The tiny ones vary in shapes and sizes. Yeah. It looks like a finger. That's probably yeah. where, the, uh, where the name comes from. It's a citrus, right? Mm-hmm. So the people down under can represent. They have something to show for gardening. Uh, what's unique about it? And this is, by the way, this is something we're potting and we have not yet planted. We've had this for... Who's, whose tree is this? It's my tree. So it's uh, based on your request. You want an Australian finger lime. Why did you want it? I actually saw this video of a lot of people tasting it and planting it. And I thought it was really interesting. So I was like, hey, we should get that. We should get that. So it's not just a really cool, but it's got some unique unique uses. And that's the, the, key, the key. How about uh, you take one off? Uh, we made a claim a while ago. And I think we're going to also compare. Not only do a taste test of the Australian finger lime, but we claim that a kumquat was the smallest citrus in the world and uh, in terms of fruit. And we still have kumquats on the tree, so I said let's do a comparison. So that's the comparison. You have a kumquat and a uh, oh, Australian finger, finger lime that you pick. You pick the biggest one off the tree. Yes. There's still a bunch more. You can see. Ouch. It's prickly. <laughs> okay. And show me the size. Show me. Okay. It's don't a, don't burst it yet. All it's right. Like a Try it purpley skin can you open it oh wait is it, it look at this what is what is it on it smell it is wow it, oh. <laughs> wow That's amazing true. it's so. perfume citrus perfume and look at the oil on this can you see this? it's really glistening. come on youtube community the guys down under could give us some lessons here I and mean, i've seen them growing in costa rica variety that's also pink inside cut it Whoa. it's cut it because it's, it's got too much water i, I can't Okay, take another one. Because that, that went straight done. into the... No. Maybe not. Okay, try it again. Right. Let's cut this one. We dropped it in the pool. But our pool is clean, so we can still try it. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's like they're, they're just... Look! They just... I'm not even squeezing it. They just keep... <laughs> it's just over... It's like alive. It's alive. So what this, what's unique about this? It kind of... Call, it's called a citrus caviar, so it has these cute little Look Look orbs wow. that keep taste it. Mmm. Mm. No. Watch that candy. It's crunchy. It pops in your mouth. Oh. Wow. It's very interesting. That is so sour. Oh. It is sour. It's a lime. But guess what? The texture, it's absolutely unbelievable. So, it, what would you use this on? You would actually use this on some desserts, some salads, any type of food that you want. And it's typically mm. used in salads and sushis and poke and all those. Milk. It bursts. This is the the nickname is citrus caviar. Citrus caviar. It looks like caviar, like fish roe, fish eggs. Wow. Very juicy. Mm -hmm. Very oily. Very sour. Very sour and extremely aromatic. Yeah. Like they have a perfume that's above and beyond a citrus tree. I don't know what it is. It smells like a talk like the f the smell is just so powerful that it's toxic. Mm -hmm. It's like abundant. <laughs> <laughs> you can. It's it. I know. It's like cheap perfume. Kind of makes your eyes cheap water perfume a with lime flavor. That's. Oh. YouTube now you know it cheap perfume lime flavor, but it's really really interesting. I tell you I'll tell you this we're gonna make some um, Some food today some unique food look at this. It's just exploding like it keeps pouring out <laughs> Yeah, it's alive. It's the alive it just fruit. It keeps growing and growing. Wow, that's and very growing. interesting. So this on sushi sashimi or Poke poke we're gonna make some poke today with tuna. I think this is gonna be off 
off the, the charts. charts in terms of um, utilization. So I think it's a really cool uh, tree to grow. Here's the all the all the surprises and the surprise factors that we I don't know uh, maybe a sweeter variety that would be interesting to know. I don't know it. I don't I have no idea. I've seen I've seen different varieties again pink varieties. Yeah, white when, varieties. when does it uh, and this is a dwarf so we grow a dwarf, well yeah. we we have a dwarf. It's been in a pot since we got it. We got it last year. Yeah. We fed it a few times. It's now getting crooked for whatever reason. It was crooked in the beginning, but now it's uh, getting more crooked. So we have to repot it or relocate it. Now, what's the reason we didn't plant it? Well, there are a lot of big, sharp thorns here. Oh, yeah. I just poked myself. Yeah, so it's it's really cool as a citrus, it, it, but it's really... <laughs> look at those thorns. They're like unbelievable. You got to be very careful with them. I love it though. It's really interesting as a as a as a what what uh, do we have any flowers? We have a few little buds left from the buds flowering are season. Buds white pinkish, right? Yeah, like a pink white mixture. It's like mm -hmm. a marble. So this grows as a typical uh, dwarf citrus, uh, probably up to about eight to nine feet uh, tall and wide. And I guess the concern is where we're gonna plant it if it's uh, got it's so thorny. We want to be careful. We either keep it in a pot so we can move it, and or try to figure out a way to keep yeah. it out of the way. We still we want to have access to it, somewhere. but somewhere in the back. And since we're running out of room with our own other citrus on our hill, well, guess what? We got to find some spot for this guy and not close to where we typically cross. Yeah. So we have, uh, we have that. All right. So desserts as utilization, food, fancy. I think uh, five-star chefs would uh, be envious of uh, our mini crop here because the, the way the texture of the of the, ca the caviar itself is just absolutely absolutely amazing uh, if you guys haven't tried this I, I would certainly recommend it in Southern California as any citrus it's it's very easy to grow so you don't have to I mean we've been keeping this in a pot for a year no issues we've fed it a few times easy to to deal with um, any anything else um, make sure to eat clean eat green like and subscribe Turn on those post notifications to get notified when we have a new video posted and drop a comment if you have any questions or recommendations. All right, now you know. And if you grow different varieties of uh, Australian finger limes, uh, please let us know if there is a sweeter variety. This is definitely not one. <laughs> Hold it. Thank you and happy fruit growing. Cheers. Bye.